Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all well and having a really great day so far. I've been so excited to sit down and film today's video because today I'm taking a look at the new Charlotte Tilbury Airblush Flawless Lip Blurs and I've got to say I'm intrigued. It's been quite a while since she's brought out a brand new lip product and I can't wait to try them. I've ordered one in every shade so you'll be able to see the full shade range and I'll also be trying them on a bit later in the video so you can see what they look like on my skin tone. Um, as usual I'll be giving you all of the product details, tell you everything that you need to know. So if that sounds good to you, grab yourself a drink, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into the video. <laughs> As I said, Charlotte Tilbury has now launched her new Airbrush Flawless Lip Blurs and they're available to purchase on her website. I will pop the link in the description box below in case you see any that you like. They're her new range of liquid lipsticks with what's described as having a modern matte meets moisture formula. Charlotte says they're infused by blurring and smoothing effects which are influenced by her iconic airbrush makeup secrets. They have unique powder blurring technology and hyaluronic acid and Charlotte Tilbury claim that they visibly smooth, blur, hydrate and mattify the lips in one swipe. Now, as a rule, I do not like liquid lipsticks at all. I find them very uncomfortable and drying on the lips. Um, I also think that sometimes the formula settles into the fine lines of your lips and it can give you that sort of butthole look, um, which is just not the vibe that I'm going for at all. So any liquid lipstick is always going to be a pretty hard sell to me. But the description of the lip blur formula being hydrating, smoothing, blurring is what really made me want to try this product. Um, so I'm going to be open minded um, and hopefully this product will blow all of the crappy liquid lipsticks that I've tried in the past out of the water. The Airbrush Flawless Lip Blurs retail for £27 or $35 US dollars and for your money you're getting 6.8ml of product. The packaging as always is exquisite, I love the way that Charlotte Tilbury packages her products. You always feel like you're getting something pretty and luxurious. I do really like the fact that you can see the colour of the lipstick through the tube and if you can... Get, if I can get my camera to focus, um, there is a really beautiful engraving in the top there and that is a really nice touch. Charlotte Tilbury says that you can wear these blurred for a soft tint look or you can wear them bold for a more intensive, I guess, pop of colour on the lips. Um, I will try this out a little bit later when I do the lip swatches but generally speaking I think that that part is a little bit gimmicky. I think that you can probably get a soft tint look with most lip products be that a liquid lipstick or a bullet lipstick but I guess we'll see that when we look at how they apply. They're available in eight different shades and I will put them up on the screen for you now. There's Pillow Talk which is a nude pink, Nude Blur which is a true nude, Honey Blur, which is described as a warm peach nude. Rose Blur, a deep rose pink. Flame Blur, an orange red. Pillow Talk Medium, which is a berry pink. Ruby Blur, which is a true ruby red. And Walk of No Shame, which is a berry red. We've seen Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk Medium and Walk of No Shame before but obviously you're getting those favourite shades in a different formula. I think the other five shades are all new to the product range. And I'll swatch all of the shades now for you so you can see what they look like in real life. So first up is Pillow Talk. And I'd say that is pretty consistent with the Pillow Talk lipstick and other Pillow Talk products that she has in the range. Then we have Nude Blur. And that definitely is a lot more neutral compared to the Pillow Talk shade. Honey Blur. Oh, and that is a really beautiful shade. Um, that definitely is warmer and peachier than the other two. Rose Blur. That 
that is gorgeous. I'm really looking forward to trying Rose Blur. I think that one is going to be a favourite of mine. Flame Blur, which is the orangey red, and that is gorgeous. Um, I have a feeling that this is going to be a popular shade, especially in the summer months. Pillow Talk Medium. Another beautiful shade. Ruby Blur. Oh, that is just gorgeous. I think that that one especially is going to look so beautiful over the Christmas season. I think I'll definitely be wearing that one. And last but not least, we have Walk of No Shame. And again, a really beautiful colour. Um, to say that it's a new product, I think that eight different shades is a nice amount. There's certainly a nice variety of different tones there. I possibly would have liked um, maybe another nude um, that is a little bit lighter, just because my skin tone is so, so fair. Um, obviously, we'll see when I try that on the lips, but I have a feeling that one may look a little bit darker on me. But now that we've seen how all the shades swatch on my hands, I'm really intrigued to see how they feel on the lips. So to see how the formula applies and performs on the lips, um, the first shade I'm gonna try is Pillow Talk. I think most people are pretty familiar with Pillow Talk as a shade and know what it looks like. So I think this one will be a great one to start with. And I'm gonna apologize in advance for the application. I always feel a little bit nervous when I'm applying lip products on camera and it's been a little while. Um, so if it is a bit shaky, please forgive me, but I'll try my best. At least you're gonna get a good idea of what the shades look like. So the applicator itself appears to be a diamond shape. It's got that really nice um, sharp point at the top. And I think that's gonna be pretty good for precision, especially working the uh, liquid lipstick around the cupid's bow. Um, but let's see. Ooh, so firstly, it's not feeling um, thick. It feels very light, almost, you know, soft and I want to say moussey, but a lot sort of lighter formula than some of the other, um, you know, moussey type liquid lipsticks I've tried in the past. Just to see how it looks blurred, I'm just dabbing that onto my lips with my finger just to blend out the edges. And that's leaving me with just a nice soft application of colour, but it's very comfortable on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky in any way. It feels really nice, actually. No stickiness, no grittiness, um, just soft moisturising on the lips. I'm going to go back in with another layer and just build that colour up um, so, you know, the intensity is built up. And it does actually feel, um, again, very light on the lips. It doesn't feel like it's drying down particularly. Um, so I'm not sure that it's going to maybe last as long as other liquid lipsticks that I've tried. But to be honest, I'm perfectly okay with that because I would rather feel comfortable and apply my lipstick a couple of times throughout the day. Maybe the top layer may come off. Um, I, it doesn't feel like it's going to be transfer proof, um, but it may leave perhaps um, a slight staining of colour underneath and that may give you colour for um, longer hours during the day. But it feels so lovely. It's not sticky like a gloss at all, but it's possibly a bit more um, moisturising than a normal sort of tube lipstick. I am just going to test if it's transfer proof, although I do, you know, think that I know the answer already. So no, it's not transfer proof, um, but again, for somebody who dislikes liquid lipsticks like myself, um, I'm really impressed with this formula so far. 
So this was the shade Pillow Talk and I do really like Pillow Talk as a shade. I have a lot of products from the Pillow Talk range. So I know that this one is gonna mix and match well with my existing makeup collection. Um, and the formula, again, it just feels great. Really enjoying wearing it. And I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. This is the shade Nude Blur and it's a very nice nude lipstick. It's a beautiful rich colour um, but as I suspected a bit earlier it does pull quite dark on my fair skin tone so me being completely picky um, I would have liked to have seen a slightly lighter nude shade in the collection as well. This was the shade Honey Blur and again it does pull quite dark on me but a beautiful colour nonetheless. Um, it definitely does have a warmer peachier tone to it than Nude Blur and I think if you've got a warm skin tone or an olive undertone to your skin you would probably really like this um, but whatever your skin tone a really beautiful shade nonetheless. This is Rose Blur, absolutely stunning colour, really gorgeous pink lipstick. This next one is Flame Blur and it's an absolutely stunning orangey red lipstick exactly as it's described on the Charlotte Tilbury website. If you're familiar with Charlotte Tilbury's other lipsticks there is a shade called Tell Laura and it very much reminds me of that shade. Um, it's also quite similar to Max Lady Danger so if you're a fan of those lipstick shades but you perhaps want to try the airbrush lip blur formula then this one is definitely one I'd pick up. And this one is Pillow Talk Medium. Now, obviously, because I'm so fair, this one does tend to pull darker on me, and that's true in the bullet lipstick as well. Um, if you've got a darker skin tone, then this one may be a really nice new colour for you. Um, on me, it gives me sort of 90s grunge vibes, and don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely here for it. Um, but I think it is quite a true match to the bullet lipstick, and it also reminds me a little bit of Maxwell lipstick as well. Now, being totally honest, I'm not sure whether it's because it's a darker shade, but when I was applying it, I did find that I had to be careful to apply an even layer um, because some parts did look a little bit patchy to start with. Um, as soon as I applied another coat, though, that disappeared, so I don't think it's anything to worry about, um, but something that I did just want to mention to you anyway.
This next one is Ruby Blur and it's exactly as described, a beautiful ruby red. It's 100% a lot more blue toned than the flame red that shade that we saw earlier. Um, shade wise, it reminds me very much of the red carpet red in Charlotte Tilbury's bullet lipstick range, um, but it is absolutely stunning. It's going to look um, beautiful over the Christmas period, but a very classic red shade that would look great all year round. And last but not least, this is Walk of No Shame Blur, an absolutely stunning shade. Um, it's definitely more berry toned and a bit warmer than Pillow Talk Medium, um, but very much like the Bullet Lipstick as with the other shades that we've seen. Um, I will say though that I have very much enjoyed the formula of these lipsticks and I think that the applicator is great as well. Um, as you've seen throughout the video, I think they've been fairly easy and straightforward to apply as well. Um, that little point on top of the applicator there um, does really allow you to get a nice shape around the cupid's bow um, more so than some of the other applicators that I've tried. So guys, those were all eight shades in the new Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush Flawless Lip Blur range. Um, I hope that it's been useful for you to see all of the shades and helped you decide which ones you do and don't want to pick up. Um, I think that I would gravitate more towards Pillow Talk, Rose Blur um, and the two red shades myself. Um, that's just down to personal preference but I think all eight shades are very wearable. I'm more than impressed with the formula itself. As I said, I just was not a liquid lipstick fan at all um, and my main reason for that is the the, is because it was dry and uncomfortable. That is absolutely not the case with this formula. Um, it's very comfortable to wear, very soft and moisturising on the lips. So even if you are not a liquid lipstick lover like myself, um, I would very much recommend trying one of these out um, because it may just make a liquid lipstick fan of you yet. But that is the end of today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from me, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my future uploads. But thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on my next one. Enjoy the rest of your evening.